This is the third and final part of the ninth chapter of Awake Bride. This presentation will continue the wars and land changes in Israel's past and proceed to its prophetic future. When the Ottoman Empire was carved up, Palestine's designated boundaries included quite a bit of land. In 1922, in a Land for Peace deal, the British split mandatory Palestine into an Arab and a Jewish mandate using the Jordan River as a line of demarcation, the original two-state solution. The British recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Palestine while under their mandate. After Israel won the Six-Day War of 1967, they were pressured into giving up over 80% of their newly acquired land for peace. A bulldozer uncovered this Latin prayer book in Ireland on July 20, 2006. It was open to Psalm 83. Hezbollah had launched Katusha rockets into Israel on July 12, and a few days later kidnapped two Israeli soldiers. Thus began the Lebanon War of July 2006. Though it was not all-out war as in 1967, it is still the same Muslim confederation supporting Israel's extinction. Between 2005 and 2007, Hamas in Gaza fired about 2,700 Qassam rockets into Israel, killing four and injuring 75 civilians. In yet another land for peace deal, Israel forcibly pulled out Jewish residents from Gaza and gave it to the Palestinians. Yet their rocket attacks continued, and by the end of 2008, Israel counterattacked. Now only the light blue area is considered Israel's land by the UN. Joel 3, 2, 9, and 12 I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations, and parted my land. Proclaim you this among the Gentiles, Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Let the heathen be wakened, and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Jehoshaphat means God's judgment. There is no actual valley in Israel by that name. We associate the valley of Jehoshaphat with the valley of decision and the valley of Israelan below Har Megiddo. Revelation 16, 12-16 And the sixth angel poured out his vial on the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches and keeps his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Daniel 8, 13b-14 How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Daniel 8, 23-26 and in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Why shut you up the vision, for it shall be for many days. God waited for the sins of the Amalekites to come to the full before he allowed the Hebrews to take Canaan. God has waited for the sins of the Gentiles of the world to max out prior to the war of Armageddon. To establish peace in the Middle East, a king will stand up and call for all nations to force Israel to submit to his demands. Romans 11, 25 and 26 For I would not, brothers, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits, 
that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Fullness is pleroma, meaning completion from pleroo, meaning finish a period or task, or verify or coincide with a prediction. The fullness of transgressors is not to be confused with the fullness of the Gentiles, though I believe both have reached their fullness. This fullness is a completion of their time to rule on the earth as well as their time to turn to Jesus. Though it may appear that Muslims will be successful in their plots against Israel, Israel's Messiah will come to their rescue and banish their enemies. Jeremiah 30 For see, the days come, said the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, said the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off your neck. But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king, whom I will raise up to them. Therefore fear you not, O my servant Jacob, said the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel, for see, I will save you from afar and your seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with you, said the Lord, to save you, though I make a full end of all nations where I have scattered you, yet I will not make a full end of you. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind, it shall fall with pain on the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he has done it, and until he have performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days you shall consider it. During the great tribulation of the latter days, Israel is the focus of the world who will be irritated and consumed by its unwillingness to submit to world dictates. But as bad as it will get for Israel, God promises not to fully destroy them, but to rescue them. Revelation 14, 3-5 and they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. God will seal 144,000 Hebrews, only 12,000 of which will be from the tribe of Judah, which is listed first. The rest will be from the lost tribes of the house of Israel. To be sealed by God is to be given His Holy Spirit after trusting in Jesus Christ for salvation. Dan and Ephraim are excluded from the twelve tribes sealed in Revelation because they allowed King Jeroboam to establish worship of golden calves in their territories. Ephraim is replaced with the tribe of Joseph. Within the last twenty years, groups of crypto-Jews have come out of hundreds and thousands of years of hiding to declare they have remained faithful to the one true God. Some groups prove their lineage through careful genealogies, while others through DNA testing. Zechariah 14, 2-12 For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations and his feet shall stand in that day on the Mount of Olives, and the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day there shall be one Lord, and his name one. All the land shall be turned as a plain from Geba to Rimmon, south of Jerusalem, and it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. Then the Lord will fight for Israel and destroy her enemies, and the landscape of the earth will be changed, and Israel will finally have the boundaries God promised to Abraham.